Alex. Alright guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft, and um, straight off the bat, uh, been busy a little bit, but um, got two pieces of news, one kind of annoys the fuck out of me, the other isn't so bad. Um, the one that's not so bad is that uh, this thing's coming along nice now, I like the look of this thing. Um, got a fucking entrance, so it's pretty pretty inviting and shit, because um, yeah, um, but this yeah took way too much time. Um, I kind of just wanted a little archway, but then that took half an hour, and then that's that. But um, the piece of information that kind of wants me to, you know, headbutt a, a table um, is this little this little addition here, or the rather the subtraction. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, what started off as three iron golems and 15 villagers finished up being one iron golem. So I have no villagers. I'm building a fucking village for no people. And, um... Yeah, I don't know if I want to continue on with life or not. Um... But I honestly don't know if I'm able to get villages again. Um... Although, what we're going to have to do... I think is migrate some from a near village. Um... I say near village, but I don't think there's a village for, like, at least a thousand blocks. So, um... Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be good. Um, they're not exactly dogs, they won't exactly follow you. Nor are they cows, you can't feed them shit and they follow you. Um, how this is going to work is I'm going to have to set up a minecart system. Um, after finding a village, of course, and then bring these bad boys over to hump over here. Um, I, I don't know how they died. Um, I've got Bruce here, just to fucking, you know, hit away all the, the zombies and shit. But obviously, Bruce wasn't good enough, and um, yeah... They died, but apart from that, I've been working on this village for a couple of hours now, and it's actually it's not looking too bad. Um, we've probably got a fairly shitty angle to look at it from, so we'll go up here um, for a bit of a better look. And um, yeah, I think it looks pretty shick. Um, I was planning on making it a little bigger, but um, I don't know. That just seemed like oh, that's just, well, I'm honoured. Um, anyway, what the fuck? Um, it just feels like that's a nice little size, a nice little cute village um, for all the villagers to hump each other in. So yeah, um, we've got our village. Uh, we don't have any villagers, so that's probably what we're going to get done this episode, hopefully. Um, if I can't get that done, I'll probably be pissed off. But um, to distract myself with the overwhelming depression, um, we're probably going to fix up the reed farm. And maybe if we get time, um, try and find a near village and then either set up for the next episode or continue on with, with this episode. And I have an episode goal this episode. Episode, just say that word one more time, just so it, so it's clear that I, that I know how to say it properly. But um, my goal is, it's one of those, well, four, four gun powers, it's not bad. Um, <laughs> I have a goal for this episode, and it is to make this video under 30 minutes long. I don't know if I can do it, but we're going to 360 a creeper and find out. Fucking hit markers, my god. Um, but yeah, speaking hit mark. Oh my fucking what? Is this just only use me creeper right now? I hope some of you understand that reference and think I'm a, a retard for saying it. But anyway, um, this thing's almost complete. Uh, I say that very loosely because I actually have a lot of things I need to get done on this one. But um, to get some feedback on this little thing, and it was decided that it looks like a Digimon. So whoever decided that, um, kudos, because yeah, it does. But uh, before we decide on chucking down reeds, what we're going to do is experiment um, with a few different uh, styles, I guess you'd call it. Um, formations is probably a bit more accurate of placing down reeds in water. Um, but I guess that probably doesn't make any sense without any form of visual aid. Um, so we're going to get onto that shit right now. I'm still fucking so annoyed that the villagers just decided to commit suicide. I think they were just you know, felt that they were stuck in a rut and just felt like they needed to end their life. But anyway, well, that got really, really weird very quickly. Um, suicide's not the answer. Testificates out there. But anyway, fucking hell. Anyway, so what we're going to have to do is find a bit of sugar cane and um, some what? And some water buckets and trail some, some little techniques. 
I guess technique is an overstatement. Um, but generally, if you've made your own reed farm, you're probably going to do something like this. You're going to have a have a bit of a bit of thing, bit of, <laughs> bit of water in the middle, and then just reeds on the outside like so. Um, but what I want to try is a more efficient way of allocating the the water. So, as opposed to that, we could have not this shovel is fucking hacks. Um, singular blocks like this um, with reeds all around it, and then what we'll have to do is place another one. Where could we put it? Um, probably about here, and that way we can kind of increase the amount of reeds we have per per capita, I guess you'd call it. Um, so yeah, I think that's the way we're going to do it. Um, it seems to be the most efficient way, although it's going to be hard to to get this pattern memorized and actually be consistent with it. Um, so it's obviously just, I don't know, it's going to take a little bit of time, but um, they're kind of just a bunch of cross crosses, so you kind of fucking this shovel hacks um, just kind of have to allocate the crosses so they kind of intercept as efficiently as possible um, but anyway I'll probably get working on that um, a little bit off camera because it will take me a shit ton of time and um, I've already spent I've, I've spent like two or three hours on this episode and you've seen about five minutes so um, yeah this is one of the more high effort uh, videos I guess you caught hopefully some of you guys appreciate it and I don't know don't like seeing me suffer uh, too badly, um, but yeah, I felt like uh, I felt like doing a high effort episode this episode. So evidently, um, that's what we're gonna get done. But um, yeah, if you guys wanna, before I get stuck in anything else, um, pause the video and tell me what you think of this of this village border so far and the entrance and such. Um, but anyway, um, in a split second, I'll probably have that all done. Um, for your time anyway, for me it's going to take a few hours, but um, I'll keep plodding along and hopefully this episode is fairly sexy, but anyway guys, um, yeah, I'll get stuck into the reed farm, and yeah, I'll be right back. Dicks. And second thoughts, um, actually I might make you guys suffer a little bit with me, suffering your jocks, such a stupid saying. <laughs> um, but yeah, what I'm going to do here is on the outskirts, um, have a little watering, um, this is basically... I'm only going to really need it for when I'm actually making this thing, but it might look, look good for the old aesthetics. Um, that wasn't British nor anything else, so ignore that. Um, do speak fluent British, by the way. Um, but anyway, I'm quickly realizing how big of an area this is and how many water sources I'm going to require, but more importantly, how many fucking lily pads it's going to take um, to cover this whole thing. And the thought of that just makes me want to kill myself, but... Um, I'm not quite sure how many lily pads I will need, but um, I'm pretty sure the two or three stacks I have at the moment, um, that mustard isn't going to be cut. So that's, yeah, it's going to be a pain in the ass getting all that, and that's probably going to take the bulk of the time. But um, in that same limelight, um, that's not even the same, but anyway, um, I'll probably just ditch the lily pads uh, for, for a little bit anyway. I'll get as many as I can, like any that I have at the moment. I will place down in any more than I need to get in the future. I will just slowly build them up and eventually it will cover the whole, cover the whole area. Um, but I'm running out of swamp biomes to destroy because I've actually um, taken out about three swamp biomes worth of lily pads. Don't know if I whistled a little bit just then, but yeah. Anyway, um, I've removed I don't know, about three swamp biomes lily pads completely. Obviously, not absolutely every single one. Some of them are just out of the way, and I'm not going to go 50 blocks in the water just to get one lily pad. But for the most part, um, they're fairly fairly well drained out of the old lily pads. Um, so um, a good substitute someone suggested were half slabs, and that was what I was actually thinking of doing around the outsides here um, once I finished with obviously doing all the water in the, in the center, because that's what this thing is for, so I can access water source blocks. Um, without going, you know, to a, wa a designated water source um, and then just wasting a whole bunch of time um, going back and forth. But I, I don't know about you, but I'm getting somewhat dizzy just doing this over and over. Um, but luckily, this is this is temporary. Um, but yeah, the, if, if anyone were wondering how to, how to fi fill a large body of water, um, this is the way to do it. Obviously, just placing a, a water block um, every second block, that way the the infiniteness uh, gets replenished 
and um, you really don't have to travel too far for the next one. But I'm um, pretty common knowledge to you guys, but obviously some of you guys won't know. So, yeah, just popping it out there. Um, don't slaughter me too hard for stating the obvious. But, um, yeah, um, as you may be able to tell in the last few episodes, I've actually stopped using my intro. And um, it's not that I, I think it's bad or anything. Um, I actually really like that intro. Um, I was just getting a lot of copyright issues um even though i've thought, like written written permission from the artist i keep getting retarded copyrightness um from youtube so i thought just to you know stop arguing with the boss and just you know take it out um i, I probably could appeal it or whatnot um but i just don't want to you know take that risk it's really not worth it, and I think I need, need a new intro anyway, so if any of you guys are like beasts with like intro making this, um, and would like to make my intro, and forever have my, my undying love, and or bottled, um, no, I'm not going to send you a bottled, no, anyway, um, well, what, that was, yeah, I'm not sending you bodily fluids in a bottle, let's, uh, let's just get that <laughs> cleared out right there, but, um, yeah, if you are keen on making me an intro, just hit me up with an inbox. Um, obviously, I can't, I will, I don't know, I, I can't use everyone's intro, obviously, but I'll pick the one that I like the most, and um, most, I don't know, I <laughs> said it like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I probably won't have a new intro for a while, so in the meantime, I'll just just abruptly begin the episode. I hope, hopefully, some of you guys don't mind, that's how I always had it in the beginning. Um, but anyway, I'll probably have to... You know, do the whole diggy diggy bullshit for a couple of hours here. Um, this is really isn't going to be fun at all. Um, but in these holes, I'm going to be placing uh, not watermelons, uh, jack o' lanterns for the lighting that was decided by you guys last episode. Um, which, by the way, a lot of you guys left fucking amazing feedback. That episode got about 45 likes, um, which is which is unusual for a video of mine. Um, but yeah, generally. The amount of likes shows that uh, a lot of people saw the video, and um, that was just an above average, so I want to thank you guys if you did click that button of happiness and good shit. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop talking about likes, because likes are, uh, you know, like, you know. But anyway, um, hmm, oh, the task ahead is a little bit daunting, but hopefully I can get it done before the episode ends. Probably not going to get time to get all those villages, um, especially in a 30 minute episode. Oh, you need to fix that up. OCD is going to rape me in the bum if that if that was to never change. But anyway, guys, I'll probably keep plodding along in this reed farm project. And um, hopefully next time you, you see a bit of recording, it's it's made a bit of progress. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've been working on this reed farm for, fuck, I don't know, maybe an hour, um, and it's really amazingly tedious, um, but I did stumble across this thing, unfortunately, um, got a bit of a ravine underneath the, the project, and as I was digging some sand out, I kind of took a graceful little fall, um, and yeah, that sucked, uh, a lot of poo out of the, straight out of the butthole, but anyway, um, <laughs> Uh, I'm probably going to give this project a bit of a rest for the time being, and because I really want to find um, these villages, um, and I have done a bit of research, and I'm pretty sure I will be able to find those things. But um, if not, it won't be end of the world. Actually, it probably will be. Um, but hopefully, we can. But as you can see, it's come along fairly nicely. It just takes a butt ton of time, and um, I'd probably say I'm about. 30% complete, um, this is one of those tasks that are just going to take, um, a little while, I probably won't get it all done this episode, but, um, I apologise if you've noticed a bit of a tint, um, throughout the video, my freak fucking screen recorder goes orange when it gets late at night, um, it's very subtle, so I don't even 
remember when it's actually on um, until I notice the video is slightly orange. So um, if it felt like you've been wearing gunner glasses for the last 15 minutes, I apologize. But anyway, as I said, we're going to move on from this raid farm. It is it's, it's very productive. Um, dickhead. Dickhead cactus. Um, but yeah, we, we I really need a break from that thing. Um, it's as good as it is. It's freaking tedious and annoying and makes me want to give... No, 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 no. not saying that. There's so many things. Um, I'm glad I hold back. But that's, yeah... That's a prime example of something you'll never hear. Anyway, so um, where I'm thinking f to go for this village, um, I honestly don't know the closest village, which is kind of concerning considering that um, it's going to take me a shit ton of time to get vi villager from A to B. I wish I could like get closer to this glitch and have a look. Um, hmm... Looks like I haven't really lit my caves up too well. We're going to pump up the music because this is actually it's pretty cutesy. Um, but yeah, I'm so annoyed. So annoyed at society that this happened. Um, but yeah, it's going to be quite a task getting villagers to here. And it's going to take a shit ton of railway tracks. Um, which I probably won't even be able to use um, once I've used them up for this little project. But um, hopefully before all this episode's end ends rather um, we can get some villagers into that village hello piggy um, and all will be good what are the day of today can be Bruce um, but there was one thing I did notice uh, whilst watching the video back um, the villagers actually have names they're not testificates anymore they're actually called Bruce which is like finding Nemo all over again but um yeah, I thought that was a bit interesting. Um, Bruce is pretty much an epic name, so um, kudos to that. And it's weird how they all have the same name. But, um, hmm. I guess you don't want to get too emotionally attached to a pixelated villager with a giant nose that looks like a potato. Um, but uh, one thing I did uh, get feedback on last episode was my skelly farm here. And I actually got a really good comment from a guy who suggested that I place blocks above the glass um, to prevent the the skeletons from burning and um, that's probably what I'll get done um, in the short term um, apart from finding those villages but this episode is getting very long um, relatively and um, that's probably something we'll get done and for the next episode I'll probably have to piss fart and cart back some t testificates um, back to the village so it's going to take a while um, but before I do that little fic maintenance, um, I got a good comment um, suggesting items to put in these chests. And for those who don't know, this is the the wheel of unfortunate. Um, whereas um, if I have an ep if I don't quite have an episode idea, um, if I have a couple but I'm not sure on what I'll do, you stand in the center, chuck on cinematic mode, and then just spin my mouse like a spastic. Whatever chest it lands on, I will. For example, that would mean the Blaze Farm, but um, I got two good suggestions. One was to make a Netherwood Farm, and the other one was a Blaze Farm. That I want to get done, but I am lazy, and I, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's too daunting to get that thing done. But um, I will get stuck in my Blaze Farm at some stage, but um, just not for now. This LPI, I really need to get onto that shit, but... Um, yeah, I'm just a bit nervous because I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off. But um, without further hesitation, we probably should fix up um, that little fuck up that we have. And I'm probably thinking half slabs to go on top of the glass. Um, I don't want full blocks um, just to minimalize, caramelize, <laughs> just uh, make it as subtle as possible. I, don't, I preferably wouldn't want to have any blocks on it, but um, apparently, well, not apparently. Um, suffice it to say that I'm going to have to, otherwise this thing's just going to be fucking useless. Um, during the daytime at least. Um, how the fuck do I get up from here? But, um, yeah, in the next couple of days I'll probably be focusing on more tech it. Um, a lot of you guys really enjoy that series and it really took me by surprise. Like, when I upload, um, other games that aren't Minecraft, I tend to get a lot less ratings, a lot less comments and views and stuff. So the general consensus in my eyes is that not many people would prefer to see that stuff. Um, but I do enjoy those games, so I will post them every now and again. But um, in the same 
in the same form of conversation. Um, Tekkit was one of those things that I was just going to post because um, I was having fun with it, but um, it actually, I don't know, backfired's the wrong word, but it kind of, it has a, a doubly purpose now. It actually, it's one of the more favoured series on this channel and I really enjoy making it. So I'm probably going to be prioritising that one, um, not over this one, just because um, it's a lot easier to record. These these episodes take um, like around an hour and a half, two hours on average to make. Um, but I really do enjoy making them. I just can't make them as consistently as Tekkit and or other videos. But um, yeah, I'll probably be playing some TF2 in the up and coming days. I'm not quite sure when. Um, but I really want to check out the Man vs. Machine um, update. And if you guys want to see that, please jock it in a comment because that will help me get over my TF2 posting insecurities and get me on it, on that shit quicker. Um, but for those who missed out the other episode, um, this is also a new build that I recently added. Um, I know a lot of you are very, very good at keeping up to date. For those who aren't, this is this. It is pretty good. I like it. Um, but before we end this episode, we're going to go on another hunt uh, for a village. And what concerns me is that I don't know where to go. <laughs> so, um, I kind of... I've been out that direction towards finding the stronghold, and I know there isn't any villages that way. I've been out this way in the recent episodes looking for 1.3 chunks, and I've found pretty much uh, next to nothing. So where I'm planning to go is, is either this direction or this direction. I'm thinking, yeah, this direction, towards the my mob trap, which I probably may may or may not upgrade in the future, but um, before we do get, go, get going, rather... Um, what I will need to do is make a fuck ton of minecart tracks. I'm probably going to recycle um, the tracks. And what I mean, actually, I've actually just uh, got a bit of innovative thought of how I might do this. I'll keep it a secret. A uh, bit of cliffhanger for the next episode. But before we do end this one, um, we're going to find a village together. But um, before I do that, um, we're going to go dump this shit in a chest and make a butt ton of minecart tracks. Alright, so you may be thinking that uh, two stacks of rails probably isn't going to suffice, but um, I've got a trick up my sleeve. Not wearing a shirt right now, but if I had a sleeve, like, there'd be a trick up there. Um, but anyway, we're going to go create some man codes. Um, but yeah, um, wait. He's what the fuck is a Holden? Holden. <laughs> what? What kind of Aussie slang is Holden? I know it's like a brum brum car and shit, but it what? It doesn't make any. S oh, okay, that that that's boggled me. This this translation is is it's questionable at best, but hilarious nonetheless. I don't know if that rhymed, but if it did, um, pretty good. Anyway, so we better head out on our journey. Um, but before I go, actually, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I'm asking you like you're gonna tell me so. I, like, I don't know. What do I need? I need something, but I don't know what it is. That's right. Something to talk about. I'll be on my back. I kid, I kid. But um, something I do need is a is a book here, I think. Um, I want to make a book and quill. I'm not quite sure if I get the recipe right. I'm not quite sure how it's done. Okay, that's actually pretty easy. Um, but I'm not quite sure if this is the, the right way to do this. Um... How do I, how do I write? I know I need um, an ink sack for something. The the sack of an ink. That that seems a little bit. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to comment on that. Um, but yeah, we need a, a black sack nonetheless. Um, that maturity. But um, yeah, I'm not quite sure if I just created the wrong fucking book. If there's like an add-on to this book, or I have to just create the book and quill all in one fail swoop, but um, obviously we're not going to get anywhere without our our black sack, um, so we're going to have to go look for a squiddy poo, um, but yeah, I'm not quite sure if I'm happy with the language that I'm using right now, but there we go, there's some squids, um, fucking noob chickens, what are you doing with your life, um, but yeah, we'll hopefully get some, some nice inky, inkiness out of these guys with their teeth vagina things, but um, 
One thing I'm not too sure on, I'm pretty sure I will be requiring a, a feather, um, I do believe. So those chickens might actually, you know, give me a bit of, bit of assistance in my time of need. Um, but I do feel like a bit of a dickhole for killing them. They just look so cute together. But um, hopefully we can get a chicklet out of this one and incest can, can keep the process going. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Looting three is hacks. But um, hopefully we can combine all these flavors to get a, a KFC Zinger Burger. There we go, we've got our Zinger Burger. Um, but yeah, so I've never used a book before. Um, so this book is gonna, it's going to be my multi-purpose um, book. Um, so I'm never gonna really sign this thing. Um, can I not just press enter without, oh that is lame. That is lame source. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to chuck in comments, questions and stuff, um, in times of need like this um, the question can be for today I'm going to put, make that up for myself considering I have no questions currently but yeah if you want to chuck in a question um, chuck in L not lip lip LPI double dot and then your question um, slash ego boost <laughs> but um, yeah so that way I can update the books um, so if I ever need to go trekking I have something to talk about but today, what I'm going to be talking about is um, my 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 thing. What is this key? I don't know what that key is. Whatever it is, it's fucked on my computer. Don't spill beer on your on your keyboard. Anyway, so what I'm going to choose today, I don't even need to write this in. What am I doing this? Um, but what I will do actually before we get underway, I'm glad that it pauses the game actually. Um, what I'm going to do is chuck in my base coordinates. Coordinates doesn't involve a cube, bro. Um, I'm going to spell something wrong one day and it's going to be embarrassing. But um, I'm pretty sure my coordinates are as so. Um, obviously, you don't need it to be 100% um, accurate. But for the most part, if you're at those coordinates, you're going to be at my house. Um, don't like this whole, this poopiness, but um, I guess it'll do. Put a little dash there, but um, we'll keep that there for now. But um, whilst we trek on, um, I probably will need to grab some damper, actually. I don't know. Wasn't sure if I had any on me, but um, whilst we talk here, um, to end of the episode, um, I'll be talking about um, the recent status of my of my channel because um, it's the most relevant thing to talk about. Um, but do I have silk touch? Someone did ask me something, asked for a little flavour. Um, they asked me, I do have like grass underneath the water sometimes, and they were wondering if it was actually grass or if it was just a weird issue. So what I'm going to do is uh, silk touch this shit and. There's your answer, good sir. I don't remember your name, but um, there's your answer. And, um, yeah. Bam. So, yeah. Channel, channel, channel. Um, so, yeah. My YouTube channel has, actually hasn't been going too well as of late. Um, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a bummer. Um, it makes the sheep angry. But, um, I don't know. I, I kind of get absorbed in the, in the statistics. Because um, that's really all I can really use is accuracy to show whether or not my channel's growing. Um, I'll keep doing this thing as long as I see that it's growing. Um, I don't see myself beating a dead horse. Um, getting zero to, zero to one subscriber a day. Um, which is growth, uh, one subscriber a day. But at the same time, um, I just don't have that much time. Um, but I don't know, I've kind of been approaching this channel a little bit stupidly lately. I've been approaching it as if, I don't know, if it was some kind of weird job thing. So I've been putting more effort into it than I probably naturally would have, which is something that's probably a bit toxic to the longevity. But I would really do um, want this channel to succeed. So that's one reason why I have been putting extra effort into it, um, is to make sure that it does. Um, but... Obviously, um, if, the t if the day comes that I realize that it's going nowhere, I'll pr I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to keep doing it. Um, but, I don't know. As it's going, currently I'm getting... Um, if you check out my social blade, I've got about 5 new subscribers today, which is something I'm pretty happy with, and around 900 views. So I'm looking to pick that up um, a little bit. Um, I do feel like a bit of a shallow cockhead for relying on statistics to show me whether or not my channel's going all right. But, um, yeah, I honestly can't. There's nothing accurate enough. Um, but yeah, I don't know if that's the right mindset to have for this thing. So, I don't know. In the next couple of days, I might be not uploading for a while, just to review. 
um, this channel. But if obviously if there are videos up every day, um, I'm in my normal video making mood. But um, yeah, I just haven't been feeling it lately, and um, I don't know. I don't want to force content out on you guys. Um, the reason why I've been able to post such uh, consistent content um, as of late um, is because I've had had Tech It and a bunch of other other episodes of Black Ops and such um, to upload. So that's one reason why I've been able to keep the uploads consistent. And um, all it takes is me to be in a video making mood one day and I'll have a week's worth of content if I go absolutely fucking crazy. But um, that's very few and far between those days. But um, I don't know. Uh, my experience with YouTube, um, I don't know. It's, it's not as casual as I'd like it to be, but um, I'm in a place in my life where I can't afford to be wasting time and I don't want YouTube to just be procrastination. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Take that of what you will. Um, but that's, I don't know, just getting all deep in the ocean, um, literally. And um, yeah, that's just kind of my headspace at the moment. Um, I probably haven't really covered it too well, but um, yeah, I'm probably ditching the whole, that the the seriousness. Um, I'm going to be so fucking angry if I have to cart a villager over the ocean. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts, my thought process as of, as of late. And if you guys want to give me some insight or some tips or whatever, some stories, um, I don't know. Leave them in a comment and I'll happily read them. But um, what I might do, guys, before next episode is definitely find a village. And um, hopefully it's a bit closer than uh, the ones that I found uh, in the previous episodes um, where I was looking for new biomes um, to find emeralds. But um, I might end the episode on a bit of a down note today, guys. I feel like a DB, um, douchebag. Um, that's really not an abbreviation anyone uses, but um, YOLO. So anyway, guys, that was episode 74 of my Minecraft Let's Play. Um, actually, no, I'm a dickhole. I'm a massive dickhole. Um, what I will do before we end the episode, actually, I just remembered I haven't credited Word of the Day of Science for last episode, so we'll go do that. And um, the next episode, we'll find a village and bring them back and um, hopefully rectify our village. And yeah. I'll meet you guys over at the sanctuary since I can't find a village, and yeah, oh, I'll be right back. Righty, so almost there, and I just realized I'm actually fucking retarded. Um, I kind of didn't go in the direction that I wanted to um, entirely, but, um, oh, well, it was a bunch of ocean wherever I did go, and I'm obviously not going to be going back there. But um, anyway, we could better credit our winner for last episode. And, um, I, sir, I do enjoy your username. <laughs> um, but the, the, the little, the toasty little rabbit, that's <laughs> what? Uh, the individual that claimed episode 73, uh, was, went by the name of Meh Fuck It. Meh Fuck It. So, let's just type that shit out. Um, uh, Meh Fuck It. So, congrats, Mr. Fuck It. Um, I don't know if you want my, my asshole on your sign, but that shall remain be a mystery but um yeah if you missed the word of the day for this episode chances are pretty slim of gathering it but um good luck to all um but anyway guys as i said before that was episode 74 of minecraft and again if you watch the whole video thank you so much for watching and um all the support is really what keeps me going on this channel and um i thank you all for it so anyway guys um i better st i better stop blabbering and i'll catch you guys later for the next video